Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. Today we will learn about mechanism of vaccine and its types. This is the part 2. Earlier I posted part 1 in which we discussed about what is vaccine, uh, its uh, discovery and its ingredients. So let's begin. Mechanism and types. So first of all, how does vaccine work? I am giving you a very general idea here basic principle okay so when an individual get vaccine at the place of injection macrophages come what is macrophages it is a type of white blood cell of the body's immune system that fight with foreign substances and microbes so macrophages come and take up antigen present in a vaccine macrophages recognized it as a foreign particle after ingestion of antigen, macrophages degrade them and present some of antigen particles on its surface. Then T cell come into play. Now what is T cell? T cell is also one of a soldier cell of body's immune system. So T cell come into play. They bind with macrophages antigen presenting surface via its receptor and make clones of T cell such as killer T cell, helper T cell, suppressor T cell and memory T cell. Here, memory T cell make antibodies against antigens and memorized it for future encounters. What does it mean? Whenever same antigen, same microbe enters in the body, the prepared and stored antibodies will destroy them. Not only T cells, but B cells also take part in making antibodies, but there is a difference. B cells directly ingest antigen at the site of injection. They don't need macrophages. So B cells uh, directly ingest antigen at the site of injection and present antigen particles to its surface. Helper T cells recognize antigens present on B cells and bind to it. B cells become activated and create clones like plasma B cell and memory B cell. Plasma B cell produce massive number of antibodies while memory B cells retain antibodies and memorize it for future attacks. So how does vaccine work? A weakened or a killed form of the disease is injected into the body. The body creates antibodies to fight the germs. If the actual disease germs ever attack the body, the antibodies return to destroy them. And now comes types of vaccine. One kind of a vaccine cannot fight with all types of germs. So different types of vaccines are designed by scientists to teach immune system how to fight off certain kind of germs. When scientists develop vaccine, they consider how your immune system responds to the germ. Whether it will be very harsh, very mild or very weak. Second thing is who needs to be vaccinated against the germ, whether it's a young children or an adult or an old age person. The next come the best technology or approach to create the vaccine. After considering all these points, scientists decide what type of a vaccine should be made. There are various types of vaccine. The first is live attenuated vaccine. Second is inactivated or killed vaccine. Third is subunit vaccine, fourth is toxoid vaccine, fifth is conjugate vaccine and next is DNA vaccine. So let's discuss them one by one. Live attenuated vaccine are derived from disease causing pathogens like bacteria and viruses. These pathogens are weakened under laboratory conditions otherwise they create highly pathogenic immune response. These vaccines contain almost original form of germs. Of course, their virulence has been reduced, considered good teacher for the immune system. They create a strong and long-lasting immune response. Just one or two doses of most live vaccines can give you a lifetime of protection against a germ and the disease it causes. For example, vaccine against smallpox, chickenpox and measles. Next is inactivated or killed vaccine. These vaccines contain killed or inactivated form of germs. It provokes immune system to produce antibodies by imitating 
original form of germ. Killing or inactivation process can be done by heat treatment, radiation or chemicals. These vaccines are safer than live attenuated vaccine because their virulence has been reduced and they cannot mutate back to their original disease causing form. But they don't provide immunity that is as strong as live vaccine so one may need several doses over time in order to get ongoing immunity against disease. Example, vaccine against rabies, polio and influenza. Subunit vaccine. These vaccine neither contain live germ nor kill germ. Instead, it includes some part of microbes that can best stimulate the immune system. Subunit vaccine contains antigenic part of germ. These parts are necessary to stimulate protective immune response. For example, HPV, human papilloma virus vaccine. Toxoid vaccine. Some harmful microbes secret toxins which can cause serious illness. Usually, these toxins are exotoxin. Toxins can be inactivated or their toxicity can be reduced by chemicals or by using heat treatment, but their immunogenicity remain intact. These altered toxins are called toxoids. Using these toxoids, scientists designed vaccines used to treat illness caused by toxin. For example, diphtheria pertussis tetanus vaccine. Conjugate vaccine. A conjugate vaccine is a type of vaccine which combines a weak antigen with a strong antigen as a carrier so that the immune system has a stronger response to the weak antigen. Most commonly, the weak antigen is a polysaccharide that is attached to a strong protein antigen. However, peptide protein and protein-protein conjugates have also been developed. For example, HIV conjugate vaccine. DNA vaccine. DNA vaccines are new generation vaccines. DNA vaccine use genetically engineered plasma to induce an immunogenic response in the host against pathogenic microbes. When plasmid containing vaccine administrated into the body, plasmid DNA encodes the antigen against which immune response is required. Then cells detect the antigen gets activated and produce immune response against that antigen. No DNA vaccine has been approved yet for human use. The research is ongoing. So this was all about types of vaccine and its mechanism. Thanks for watching.